Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a review of the 8th episode of the Orville, Into the Fold. In this episode, we're introduced to Claire's children, Marcus and Ty, as the three of them, alongside Isaac, travel to a recreational planet. However, they travel through a spatial fold, which leaves them many light years away from the Orville, and the back of the shell containing Claire breaks off from the other three. The group crash lands on a moon with a breathable atmosphere, and Isaac must now take care of her two sons, while Claire discovers that the planet has been overtaken by plague and famine, while she's held captive by one of its survivors. This has probably been the most straight dramatic episode of the series so far, with the only real jokes of the episode taking place on the few scenes that actually take place on the Orville. And this ends up working in the episode's benefit because it creates a lot of drama and tension down on the moon where they're all trapped. This is the kind of episode that I've wanted to see for a while, where it doesn't have any direct moral message to it and it's just character building and world building. We get to learn more about Claire and Isaac in this episode, where we see that Claire has two children and how she interacts with them, as well as splitting her from them and then flipping the script and seeing Isaac have to interact with them. And the interesting thing with Isaac having to look after them is that because he keeps his composure, you can't tell all the changes that he has between how he interacts with them. It's very subtle that way, and it works out really well in developing him. And the desperation that Claire shows trying to get away from her captors and get back to her children definitely shows a new side to this character we haven't seen before. And despite only having a few scenes on the Orville this week, we actually get a pretty good showing from Captain Mercer as he stays in control of this situation, as he tries to track them down after they go missing. Overall, it's a very solid episode, and I give it a 9 out of 10. I like seeing Yorville get out of its comfort zone, not telling a lot of jokes and just focusing on the drama of the situation. The relationship between the two brothers is very believable, and you definitely see more sides to it, even if most of it is focused on them arguing with each other. And I like seeing the development for both Claire and Isaac as characters. But as always, let us know what you guys thought about the episode down in the comments, and if you want to hear more reviews like this, feel free to click that subscribe button and the bell next to you can be immediately informed whenever a new video goes up. But until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out. Check out our Facebook and Twitter for our latest updates, our website for our latest articles and editorials, and donate to our Patreon if you'd like to see our content get better.